Hello. <coughs> right, another uh, uh, bit about uh, Horizons. I've gone back to doing the old uh, desktop display thing for this particular video because I want to show some of the comments that have uh, come about from uh, my uh, last video about it. Uh, it's mostly people uh, pointing out um, well uh, a combination of facts and other uh, possibilities with the whole thing um, so the first one here came from uh, Eric Lundgren and uh, he was pointing out that uh, the rover thing being based off of uh, Mass Effect. He actually says off No Man's Sky, but I didn't say the rover was off No Man's Sky. I was talking about the planetary landing and planetary exploration was from uh, No Man's Sky. Um, back in 2000, Frontier released a game called Infestation, and you can check the footage out here. Uh, if you click on the link, you'll see again that is definitely uh, made by Frontier Developments and does feature a uh, some sort of moon buggy travelling around a uh, surface of a planet. The game itself looks pretty awful, I think, but uh, but I had never heard of it. I mean, I know a game called Infestation because I used to have one uh, on my Amiga, and I thought it was awful. It was a psychosis game; it had nothing to do with this. Uh, so yeah, so I didn't know about that one. Um, it could be about it. Um, but I mean, that's a game that's 15 years old, just like Freelancer is. Um, so how much uh, code from that particular game is going to be used in this, I uh, doubt any will. The idea might be used, but uh, if you check the footage you'll see that the uh, rover is entirely third person um, and I doubt that's going to be the case in this. In fact, I'd be surprised if you could even see the rover at all if you try using the uh, debug camera. So anyway, uh, next is uh, Marcel Overwheel. I'm sure I've pronounced that wrong. I'm going to guess he is from Belgium. I probably got that wrong as well. Um, so he provides uh, links to uh, various forum posts. So it's confirmed that if you own a copy of Elite Dangerous and a copy of uh, Horizons, you get access to the Cobra Mark IV. It's not that big a deal. The Cobra Mark IV don't look too bad. It's going to have several plus points, a few negative points. Yeah, I think the plus points will... Uh, override the negative points, it's armour and it's uh, improved uh, hard point placement plus an additional hard point means that uh, I think it will be uh, certainly better for people like me. Uh, the next two are a lot more interesting though. Uh, the, the price is for a full season of expansion rather than a single expansion. Uh, that that sounds to me like uh, they're trying to say that uh, the price for Horizons means you'll also get all the uh, updates to it for free. Well, there is nothing new about that in the history of PC gaming. Every time a patch or an update has come along, it's been free. Largely because there is no way that a uh, publisher would get away with, you know, doing anything else. So for Michael to say that and make it sound like it's doing a, you know the, the players a favour I, I think is a, an insult. Um, the last one then, so it's not a standalone expansion, Elite Dangerous Horizons is the full game and the season of expansions, or is the full game as to say. Um, Again, it sounds like uh, old Michael here is uh, 
trying to, you know, make it sound like it's more than it actually is. Um, you know, the full game and the season of expansions. Well, we've been getting that already with the, the original game. We've been getting that, you know, first there was the wings added. Then there was the... Uh, Oh, whatever the fuck it was that came in 1.2. Uh, then, you know, joy of all joys, we got uh, Power Play. Oh, we're so grateful for that one. And next we've got uh, Close Quarters Combat. Again, we're so grateful. So that's all of the expansions, and we didn't have to pay for them. So why are they now trying to make a big deal of the fact that we're going to be getting that again? Uh, that's... Oh, I think that's bollocks. Uh, I'm not sure what, uh, if Ben Wingro said anything about uh, you know, comparing it to uh, World of Warcraft and he's comparing uh, the cost now the cost is something I'll be coming back to later um, because that's the whole point of this video actually uh, <coughs> um Gans Teeth, aka uh, Commander Laden, uh, sounds as uh, enthralled with this as uh, uh, well as he has been ever since the whole bloody uh, game entered beta. Actually, uh, he's not somebody who who's been uh, particularly enthralled with it, and I don't think uh, you know well, I can't say I blame him at all for that one. IP Andrews uh, linking to a Eurogamer uh, uh, article quoting the expansion cost thirty nine ninety nine for new players and will include all elite dangerous content released to date. That's worded a lot more clearly than it is on Elite Dangerous' own fucking website. Uh, so this is why people are assuming new customers will play 40 quid and get the whole shebang. Well, the way that's written there, yes, that does seem to be the case. Um, it's not written that clearly on the uh, Elite Dangerous website. To me, the way it's written on the, the Elite Dangerous website, it looks like it's saying that if you buy the uh, Horizons expansion, you will be able to uh, continue playing on the same servers as people who don't have it. Which, again, you know, I'm thinking, well, that's fucking good of them. So, uh, it will actually uh, bring about some annoying um, problems, actually. Uh, say if you're forming a wing with somebody who doesn't have Horizons, but you do, you may find yourself, right, let's, let's go and check out the surface of this uh, moon or whatever. And suddenly it's, oh, you can't. I can. Uh, okay, I guess I'm not doing it then. Either that or you can piss off, I'm doing it, and you can go off and do something else. So it's not uh, particularly uh, enthralling. Um, there was another comment. Oh, yes, right. Um, from, oh, not, well, Domestos Kills All. Hmm. Uh, I'm expecting the same basic mechanics we, uh, we currently have on a moon. The landings are only on a, a non-atmosphere at, uh, are only on non-atmosphere planets and moons. Mind you, he then goes on to presume other types of planets will be in another paid DLC later. Uh, I don't think even the Frontier Developments would dare do that. Uh, they'll just bring the ability to land on other planets, you know, that are actually populated as an update to Horizon. I don't think they'll try and split planetary landings into two different paid-for expansions. Um, I, I think that uh, this thing about... Um, only being able to land on uh, planets without an atmosphere uh, is almost a sort of admission by uh, Frontier Developments that they can't do um, 
landing in a populated area very well, if at all. At least not at the moment. And they're obviously a long way from it. Because this announcement, I mean, let's see, it's the 7th of uh, August now. And it's a fairly safe assumption that this expansion is going to re be released on the uh, first anniversary of the original game's release. So you're looking at uh, December 19th, I think, is it? Yeah, it was 19th it came out. And um, that means we are going to have over four months of everyone in the forums banging on about uh, Horizons and ignoring current problems in the game and we've all taken our four months of, elite, of uh, frontier developments quite happily letting that continue they are not going to want uh, people to go on about the shitty state of this game so by announcing horizons now they're diverting people's attention away from uh, you know the fucking god awful state the game's in at the moment and uh, you know, I know that everyone's just looking forward to whatever's coming, uh, you know, and not paying any attention to you know what's there now. And I think uh, Frontier Developers are going to take full advantage of that, not do too much in the way of uh, fixes, even though it needs it. After the 1.4 update comes along, the only patches and updates they'll do to that will be the necessary ones to fix all the bugs that reappear yet again um, so uh, that's all I think is going to happen with regards to uh, uh, Horizons and uh, well certainly the development time uh, between now and the release but for the point of this video of course a lot of people are banging on about the price and okay the price is you know let's let's go on the assumption then that uh, these people are right and that if new players buy just horizons they get the entire game so they get the whole thing for 40 quid whereas people who currently play fronted uh, play uh, elite dangerous and then by the uh, expansion they'll have paid 80 quid now, this is not the first time this has happened the way people are going on about it they think it they're, they're acting like oh this has never happened before it's bang out of order you know, how can elite don't uh, how can frontier developments get away with it well the reason they can get away with it is because it was done before and it was immensely successful i'll remind you of the orange box from Valve. If you're not familiar with that or you don't remember it, I'm sure you are familiar with a certain game called Half-Life 2. When it came out it was the biggest game of the year by far. And uh, it spawned a couple of sequels, well add-on sequels in forms of episodal content. Of course that's a bloody uh, sore point as it is because there was only two when there was supposed to be three but anyway um, so episode one came along and you just bought that as normal well, so this was still in a day when you were, most people were buying games on the physical media then uh, uh, for episode two Valve decided to release it um, bundled with other titles and called it the Orange Box and the other titles as well as Portal and Team Fortress 2 it also came with Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 2 Episode 1 so if you had already bought Half-Life 2 and Episode 1 you are now having to buy them again just to get uh, episode 2. Sounds familiar? And loads of people were complaining about it. 
They were saying, oh, it's bang out of order, you know, we've got to buy it, buy it all again, you know, just to go, just to get this one expansion that we really want. And yet it absolutely flew off the shelves. So all these people who are fucking bitching and complaining about it, they still went and bought it anyway. That sent quite a, uh, you know, big message to the uh, uh, gaming uh, industry. The message being, yes, people hate it when you do that, but they'll fucking buy it anyway. So they'll still spend all the money that, you know, they were complaining about spending in, in the first place. So if you are one of those people who is now complaining about the price of uh, Elite Dangerous Horizons and you bought the orange box when it came out, you have no, you know, grounds to complain because you are one of the people who made this possible because the industry got away with it then and you should think yourself lucky that this is only the second time as far as I'm aware that it's been done because it proved successful the first time around it proved to be you know a uh, bit of a money spinner and uh, they got away with it I mean, you could argue that they've been getting away with it for some time because uh, once expansions have come along then you know a little while later you'll get like you know collector's editions and gold editions uh, you know the Heroes of Might and Magic series is a good example of this where um, all of the you know the original game and all the expansions are bundled into one and you buy the lot for you know the price of the original game when it first came out. Now granted you do have to wait a while for uh, that to uh, be released so you know those people who have that or yeah who, who uh, buy those complete editions they haven't played the game they you know they haven't had it for I don't know a year 18 months <coughs> after the game was first released. But, um, yeah, it, this this whole pricing of Horizons, it's nothing new. And it was a huge success uh, when it first, uh, you know, when it was first tried with, you know, by Valve with the Orange Box. So if you don't want it to be done again, you know, if you're one of these people who hates this idea with, uh, you know, Horizons, including the original game as well and you know resulting in new players paying just half the price that you have here's the solution don't buy it now I wonder how many of them will actually do that I do know some people who have said they won't be getting it and I do believe them uh, Kamala Layden, who I mentioned earlier, he's definitely one. I can't for the life of me see him getting it. He may have the lifetime expansion uh, thing that I've got because he was a kickstart backer. I'm not sure. I'm sure he won't lose any sleep over it if he if he doesn't have that. Uh, the other one is uh, you know good old uh, life school reviews or. Uh, Lemon Tube 64 or Lemon Tube Amiga, whichever name he chooses to go by when he's uh, posting at the time. Um, he's, I don't know if he has actually come out and said he's not buying it, but he's certainly strongly implied it, and I can well believe that. I can't imagine him getting it. It doesn't hold any interest to, you know. Uh, the only reason I'm getting it is because, you know, I've already paid for that fucking lifetime expansion thing so you know I'm getting it whether I want it or not and uh, so you know I might as well give it a try I will as, as I said in the previous video I will do um, some videos possibly of it through the uh, beta test to show what it's all about because you know if it's bang out of order having to pay another 40 quid for you know an expansion when uh, new players will you know not uh, need to do that then uh, well you probably won't want to see it because it might make you want to buy it 
and you know if it's so out of order of you know frontier developments to do this then you know the best way to send the message to them that it's out of order is not to buy it I'm sure loads of you will do that so there you go um, so that's this video done I reckon so this is uh, Commander Lucosa saying why the fuck am I doing this when I could be watching the cricket oh and go away <laughs>